Welcome back to Cards and Comics. Today I have another 90s box break. This time it's 1999 Topps Chrome Series 1. And we're looking for the early road to the hall. Uh, refractors, which are a number out of 100. And you saw my trade video I did recently. I picked up the Ivan Rodriguez and the Vlad Guerrero. So check out that video if you kind of want to see the cards look like. Hopefully I pull one and we can see what they look like together. That would be pretty outstanding. I've never, ever pulled one. So we shall see what we get. Hoping again for a normal triumvirate uh, of players of Griffey, um, Jeter, and Thomas. We shall see what we get. I think Jeter is definitely in this series. And again... We will go through all the packs, looking for the refractors. We shall see what the odds are. And they're a little stuck, and so that's not a great sign. Um, but we'll see what it looks like coming out of the pack. So we get some odds here. All right, it looks like Finding Refractor, 1 in 12. Lords of the Diamond, 1 in 8, so three of those. Two refractors, three Lords of the Diamond, Refractor, Lords of the Diamond, one per box. New Greed, one per box. UV Refractor, one in three boxes. Early Road, which is the base version, is one in 12. And then the Refractor, one in, what is that, nine? Like 940 something. That's damaged there a little bit. It's like 900 plus packs to get the Refractor. So, you gotta be really lucky to get that Refractor, guys. Here we go. We'll start here. Uh, 99 proc is very nice. Um, the good thing about it is I don't think even if they're a little stuck, it's going to really damage the card, honestly. Um, but we shall see. All right. Mike Cameron. They're hard to see a little bit. Um, Rob Nin. Jeff Becero. Then here is the first insert of the new breed. We said you get like three of these a box, and this is Travis Lee. So first insert. Um, honestly, you know, these kind of early um, or these kind of cards like that aren't uh, obviously that impressive to me. Just being, um, you know, you want the cooler cards, not uh, oops. These are a little more stuck together than I'm used to. Uh, so this this box definitely probably saw some moisture uh, or some poor con um, storage conditions, and that's very common for these products. Um, Scott Brocious. There is another insert in the back here, and it is the base version of the early Road of the Hall, I believe. Um, Dimitri Young, who had an amazing Hall of Fame collection. Um, Dave Burba, and then here's what the base early road to the hall looks like. So uh, here's the Chipper Jones, pretty cool card. Um, and again, the refractors are numbered out of a hundred. So um, maybe we can pull one of those. But again, that's that's the chase. That's what we're trying to hit is that um, that version, but just a refractor. All right. Javier Valentin around the front. Again, these are a little stuck. The good thing about, again, this set is you don't see the damage to the cards like you do some other sets where you pull off uh, part of the card in front of them. Brian Johnson. Trevor Hoffman. And then... World Series 1998. And a card 237, so just part of the base set. It did look like an insert, though. And a lot of times you see that with some of these sets in the 90s, that the subset cards look almost like inserts. Tops find this is that quite a bit as well. Um, and even base tops did a lot of subsets, so very common to see that. All right. 
Next up, Bobby Abreu, John Wetland, Ben Grieve. Uh, I see Ben Grieve in a lot of products. And uh, Butch Husky. So not a lot of star. Um, and that Chipper Jones card is by far the best card we've hit. Um, again, not a lot of uh, star power yet. Uh, this product, so we shall see if we hit something. Oops. I don't want to the camera. I know I'll do it once or twice every video. Just part of the game. <laughs> Doing this. Doing it for so long. I think I've done over 50 90s box breaks now. So, should be better at it, but I'm not. All right. Um, Eric Young. Again, these cards are very hard to read for me in my old eyes. Uh, I think this is Ramos Ramirez. Yep. Still as a pirate. Before they made that. Terrible, terrible, awful trade. And would you know it, Jerry, right in the back here, there's a King Griffey Jr. base card. There it is, guys. So maybe we can pull a Griffey, um, a regular Griffey card out of, the, out of the box. And maybe we can pull the Refractor. Who knows? It's still a possibility. We got two shots. So there we go. There's the Griffey and a sleeve pretty cool so i'm pretty happy so you know we're gonna get a few cool cards no matter what we're gonna get some early rows of halls some refractors it's gonna be fun so even if we don't hit the early road refractor we'll still hit some pretty cool cards and this is the product that you had to bust cases of to really hit those really tough inserts all right jeff montgomery Francisco Cordova, Rondell White, and another World Series card, and that's Tina Martinez. So that's pretty cool. If I was a Yankee collector, I'd, getting these as refractors would be really awesome. That would have been, you know, that that would be something I would uh, do as a Yankees collector. Would be trying to get that those cards as refractors. That, those look pretty awesome. All right, no refractors yet, so hopefully we start hitting some of those because that would be cool to do that, to get a ref couple of refractors. Jose Guillen, the pirate, so got quite a few pirate cards, honestly. Here is Charlie, Charlie Hayes. I think he played for the pirates at one point. Rick Reed <laughs> and Brady Anderson. So we hit the Griffey base. I can't really complain because I'm like, oh, not a lot of star, star power, but we hit the Griffey base card. So that's kind of not a real issue anymore. We've hit some cool cards. And again, um, they're more bricked up than I would like. So again, buying random boxes on eBay. You kind of got to take what you get and you can feel the stickiness in this pack. The cards are just really, really sticky. They're not like glued to each other, but they're just like have that sort of stickiness. And I've um, taken a nylon uh, cloth to these kind of cards that are sticky like this. And it does remove that. Uh, it makes them a little less sticky and easier to put in and out of sleeves. So here is Ricardo Rincon of... Moneyball fame. Pretty good reliever for the Pirates, too. Eric Moulton. Then here's another insert. Again, it's stuck a little bit to our card in front of Bob Wickman. And then Lord of the Diamond, Mark McGuire. These are pretty cool cards. They're die cut. Appreciate the little extra effort. It would have been cooler if it was die cut on both top and bottom. That actually would have been a little cooler. But there you go. It's a die cut. I'll put that in a little sleeve. Why not give it the little special treatment? Because it is it's a cooler insert than um, with a new breed. And I'll do the same to Chipper just real quick. You know, it's a one one in twelve, so it's not super rare, but it's just kind of you know, it's Chipper Jones. So there is three cool cards we fit so far, including the base Griffey. So. Again, and these packs all have different levels of stickiness. 
Um, this one was definitely not as bad as previous packs um, in terms of just, oops, again, the card just kind of popped out. Okay, uh, first card, Dave Martinez. Uh, can I get you guys unstuck? Here we go. Tony Gwen, that's a cool card. Hall of Fame, Tony Gwen. So, nice to hit Hall of Famer. Uh, Pedro, another Hall of Famer. And a World Series card. I think this is Bernie Williams. Pretty awesome. If we get the Jeter, we will sleeve that one up. Um, and this one's a little bit more stuck together. And a lot of people cringe at that sound of cracking these cards apart but some years it damages the cards and some years it does and this is one of those years where not much damage this pack does have some corner damage right there so hopefully nothing good is in this pack uh aaron seeley kenny rogers as a hey, i don't really remember him picture for the a's there's our buddy vlad again if there's a vlad in a, in a product we're going to hit him a little off center um and Edgar Alfonso. So, you know, we're very good at hitting Vlad cards. I've got a pretty good Vlad PC. Now I'm kind of uh, sad I sold that at 96 uh, Atomic to Jim, one of my uh, viewers of my channel, um, one of that card. And I said, you, you got it, man. You like Vlad, I'll sell it to you. But now I've got a lot of Vlad cards. I kind of wish I kept it. First refractor coming up, guys. Here we go. Nephi Perez. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it, so we'll just keep it as hidden as possible. Mike Caruso. Carrie Wood season highlights. And Ishmael Valdez. So, you know, I mean, he was serviceable for a while. Ah, uh, not the... Not the guy we're looking for, but a refractor nonetheless. So he gets the little sleeve. And uh, yeah, this is what happens. You know, you, you, you can't always hit every time you, you get. But the, I like this practice. You get quite a few chances at something cool. Quite a few chances. So and we should hit another refractor. So this is still got one chance to hit something cool. And we'll go from there. Lee Stevens. Looks like we got Woody Williams. Highlights. I think that's the complete game from um, David Wells. And then another World Series card, Chuck Knobloch. That's kind of weird. <laughs> He's on any kind of card. Uh, given to how kind of his career ended, which is kind of sad. I kind of feel bad for him because he, he definitely... Uh, had the yips, and he, you know, it's kind of weird to see a guy go from being such a great player to having, you know, basically no ability to control where the ball went. Ooh, we got a, a insert refractor, guys. An insert refractor. Pretty cool coming up here. Got AJ Hinch. Manny Ramirez. Oop, turned on my game here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Matt Williams, and here we go. Lords of the Diamond, Perry Bonds, Refractor. There we go, guys. Woo! Uh, <laughs> one, I believe these were one in 24, so I think we should get one of those. And... In a box, yeah, yep, one in 24. So you get one of those a box. So hitting the the Barry Bonds is still really cool because you can hit someone not so cool for sure. Um, so there we go, that is pretty awesome. Uh, give him the old um soft sleeve treatment here just to put him out as something pretty, pretty special. There we go. And you gotta be careful because there's a little pointy 
tips might damage pretty easily. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Lord of the Diamond, Barry Bonds. Refractor, one in 24 packs. So not going to be a, a bank breaker type insert. But again, like anything from the 90s, if that grades a PSA 10, you got something that is worth something. So again, you know, it's it's better to hit something than not hit something, right? We all, we would always say. All right. Looks like we hit our second. Uh, hall card, and we'll peel these cards apart a little bit at a time. There we go. So we got JT Snow Jr., Rusty Greer, Larry Sutton, and then there is the Jeter earlier of the hall. Very cool. I mean, you get two box, so. We got the Jeter, so that's a pretty awesome hit. Pretty cool. You know, this has not been like some boxes, but recently I've had uh, like, you know, the um, my holographics box where I hit a lot of uh, Griffey cards. Um, here we're kind of spacing out some of the hits, but that's still a cool card. So pretty stoked that, you know, we're hitting some pretty good names in our insert. Uh, slot so not griffy but definitely some good um you know good other players you know can't always hit griffy so it's good to hit jeter and bonds and frank thomas and those guys once in a while um you know if you're gonna hit if you're not gonna hit the griffy those are the kind of guys you want to hit right again trying to peel these apart darren fletcher Um, a highlight card. Let's see what we got there. Oh, we got a rookie. Um, Jim Laritz. Here is Andy Brown and Chu Freeman. And there is the Ricky Lede World Series card. So, a little over halfway through the box, guys. Pretty good box. I mean, I'd say, like, you know, just. You know, for what you can normally get in one of these boxes, I think it's um, it's what I'm expecting, right? We've hit on the, um, an insert refractor that we probably should not have got, you know, because, well, I guess, yeah, you get one a box. Sorry about that. Yep, one a box. Uh, Jason Schmidt. Here is Chris Jones and Jeff Urban. Here is... Arturo McDowell, Tony Tocado, rookies, and then here's a Juan Gonzalez, Lord of the Diamond. So we now have both of our base that we're supposed to get in the box, plus the one refractor. So the insert set should be over. Um, I think New Breed has got a few left to hit. We hit both early roads, so one more base refractor to hit. So a few more hits left to go, guys. Let's see if we get anything else cool. All right, Scott Rowland. Hall of Famer, Scott Rowland. Canseco. McKinley and Tyner. Burke and Etherton. I remember Seth Etherton, that name. It's like any rookie back in those days was prospected on. It's kind of funny when you hear people be like, oh, yeah. All in on Seth Etherton. Like, okay. That's cool, man. You do you. Um, just not something I'm that interested at the time. Billy Taylor. Tony Fernandez. Here we go. Rick Elder and Tucker. League leader, Roger Clemens. Again, this isn't an insert. This is just a base card. But they look like inserts for sure. Especially when you get them as a refractor. Okay. All 
right, another base pack. So, Johnny Damon, Todd Walker, JM Gold, Ryan Mills, and Mark McGuire. So, definitely getting, you know, all the stars. Um, yeah, we got the base Griffey. That was cool. You know, I've never hit one of these really super short print uh, top chrome inserts like the Millennium um, or, you know, Early Road or you know, Stan or even the finest ones. Um, you know, Bowman's the best. I've had so much more luck. So that's why I keep buying it. Will Clark, good player. Um, Matt Walbeck and David Cohn. It's just interesting. I've had much more luck with Top's Finest and, um, you know, even though I've never hit, you know, like say the big number of cards there, but I've hit some really good cards. But Bowen's Best, I have hit Atomics and Autographs and everything else, so I've always had good luck with, with that product. Uh, maybe that's why I love, you know, it's one of my favorite products of all time is just because I've always been lucky with it. Mike Lieberthal, two checklists in a row. That's uh, not awesome. And then a Maddox League leader. So we got two pack or three packs left and one more refractor base card that we're hoping to hit. Hopefully that uh, one card, the uh, insert refractor didn't count. That would kind of suck. All right, here is Shanna Stewart, Juan Gonzalez. Here's Chris Enoch, Bruce Chen, and Ryan Anderson. Chen was a pretty good pitcher for a while. And yeah, Danny Clawson, Brent, it's like Brent Butler, and Chuck Abbott. So another prospect card. And again, the 90s, man, so many of those prospects never panned out. Um, I think, I mean, it's true for every year, but it felt like the 90s just had so many hyped and then failed prospects that Gives every, oh, there's our refractor. There it is, guys. That's the last refractor on the base that we should be getting. Um, I wish it was, yeah, not that guy, John Flaherty, <laughs> LaTroy Hawkins, Mike Lincoln, who was a pirate for a while, Brad Penny. So we had a pretty cool card to pull back in the day. Oh, no, I dropped it. And it is Paul Canerco. So he's a good player for a lot of years. So that's not bad. You know, I mean, look, in a set like this, you could get something just really terrible. So to get a really good player that played for a long time, it's not definitely not the worst. That's actually really well centered. So it looks a beautiful, really nice version of the card. So last pack, will we get anything? Last pack mojo. Any last pack coolness coming up? We shall see. Whoa. Interesting. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Maybe not full coolness, but there's something coming up that I think everyone's going to like. Here we go, guys. Fred McGriff. Doug Glanville. League leader. Derek Jeter, which is cool. And then we did pull another Lords of the Diamond, and it's Ken Griffey Jr., so... We did hit a Griffey insert. There you go. Not the refractor, but still a cool card. So, man, we've had a nice run of boxes where we've hit Griffey inserts. Um, you know, so we're, we're definitely um, shooting above our weight on Griffey inserts. <laughs> I just dropped it. Yay. Yay. Not what I wanted to do, but I don't think I hurt the card, honestly. These cards are pretty tough. Lord of the Diamond, and then a base Jeter. Um, again, League Leader card. Still a cool card. Still a Jeter. And we'll put him here. Put him there. Put these guys there. Go there. All right. And we'll do a little recap here. So, what do we get? Chipper Jones, Early Road of the Hall, base one out of 12, New Breed, Travis Lee, Mark McGuire, um, Lords of the Diamond, 
These are one in 12, supposedly. Juan Gonzalez, one in 12, Wars of the Diamond. A Ishmael Valdez Refractor, Paul Kranerko Refractor, a Derek Jeter Wig Leader card, and a base Griffey card, which is very cool. And then kind of some of the better hits we got. We got the Barry Bonds, Lord of the Diamond Refractor, the Derek Jeter Early Road of the Hall, which is one in 12. And then we got the Lords of the Diamond, Ken Griffey Jr. So all in all, very, very good box break, in my opinion. This is way above average, honestly. If we were to do 10 of these boxes, this box would probably come out ahead on a lot, you know, a lot of those boxes. So, you know, I think this is definitely um a good a good box for what this product is. The refractors could have been a little bit better, but again, it's a crapshoot. So, but insert wise, we did pretty well, and we got an insert refractor, which you're not guaranteed sometimes. So it's good. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh hit another Griffey insert card, guys. Uh, our streak is alive. All right, so hopefully you guys liked it, and I'll see you next time in Cards and Comics. Bye.